there, I'm Sean Bernardin and I'm here with our next episode of GGTV. And we're doing something super fun today. Um, today is a collaboration video actually with one of my really good friends and students, Chelsea Woodall from Edmonton. And we're up in Edmonton actually shooting this. Today we are doing a spiral trim, crazy hard. And I get tons and tons and tons of questions from you guys about doing hair tattoo, designs, color. So I thought this would be a really good one for you guys to document. I wanted to show it to you. We've already spent about a good three hours already this morning. So number one, time is important. Make sure you guys set yourself up for success. You need to plan your project. You need to have time. Super, super important for you guys. So then uh, what we're doing is you want to also follow the bones on the dog. So how we have been doing this is just simply with a little, it's, this is a measuring tape, but you, you can use a piece of string. It could be anything actually. So you want to set it up, you start with your first line and you need two people. Two people is really going to help you guys out a lot on this. So we want to follow each line. So I'm going to use this as my guide. We're going to bring that around. And then I like, I want to just measure each one and make sure I have the same distance between each of the spirals. Very, very important for you guys. Then you're just going to take your comb, comb it, and you've decided where you're going to have your line. But just for an example, say it was too wide. I could just take this up and move that. So this is going to be really helpful for you guys when you guys are setting up your pattern. Once you have decided where you're going to put your pattern, you're going to take a pair of scissors first before you get in there with the clipper. So I'm just going to follow that line. Be very slow and steady when you are doing this. I'm just, honestly, I'm just setting it up because I have a little wiggle room if I do it this way. If I just dive in there with the clipper right off the bat, I'm going to make a complete mess of this. A couple of key, really, really important things that you need to think about if you want to do some sort of a design is really, really, you need to take the time to plan it. I think that I just want to ask Chelsea a little bit about that really quick. We've been planning this for about four or five months. It's been a while. Yeah. While. All right. Okay, so we got our line where we want it. I'm just taking my straight scissors and I've gone through and I have made that line more deliberate. So after I've done that, I'm just going to take my little mini wall cremado and it's a great little clipper. This part is very, very intricate, you guys. You have to go a very, very small amount at a time. So you want to separate where you've made your line. And you got to do this with a serious amount of love. Slow and steady. And all I'm doing is just edging that line. You do not want this line to be any more wide than the width of your pinky. So it's quite a slim line. So you're going to edge that all the way around the whole dog. And definitely slow and steady is going to be your friend on this part. 